So hello everyone. So today we'll be doing polynomials and my name is Mohammad Rafis Fahil. And before uh, starting this uh, reading, so we need to understand what do you mean by polynomials? So x squared or five or x cube, these are all monomials. So mono means one. So the, all of them are monomials. So x squared is a monomial, five is a, mono, a monomial. Now x squared plus five x, this is your binomial. So monomial is also a polynomial, a polynomial. Binomial is also a polynomial. So polynomial can be a monomial or it can be sum of two or more monomials. So x squared plus y squared plus z cube. This is also a polynomial and this is known as, this is actually a trinomial. And it can also be called a polynomial because it is a sum of uh, two or more monomials. And this whole expression is known as the term. So x square is also a term, x square plus y square plus z cube is also known as a term. Now let's do the first question. So a square minus b square whole over a minus b. Now if you recall, so if we have this expression a minus b into a plus b, this is equal to a square minus b square. Now, if you just open this up, a into a would be a square, a into b would be a b minus b a plus a b minus b a plus minus b square. So minus b into b is minus b square. These two expressions would cancel out and we will be left with a square minus b square. So we can write numerator as a minus b into a plus b whole over a minus b. So a minus b, a minus b cancels out and we are left with a plus b that is 117 plus 118 that is equal to 235. Next question. Now a square minus b square, a square minus b square equals to 21 and a square plus b square equals to 29. Which of the following could be the value of a, b? Now indicate all possible values. Now for this, we need to calculate the value of A and also the value of B, but over here, it's quite difficult to um, uh, get A and B. Like A square minus B, yes, indeed, this can be uh, uh, expressed as A minus B, A plus B, but nothing else we can do. Now, if you look closely, if you add both of these equations, so if we add both of these equations, we will going to get a square plus a square is 2a square minus b square plus b square would cancel out and this would be 29 plus 21 is 25. a square would be uh, 29 plus 21 is 50 and 50 divided by 2 is 25. So a is plus equals to plus minus 5 and a square minus b square equals to 21 and a square plus b square equals to 29. Now let's suppose we want to eliminate b square. Sorry, we need to eliminate a square. So we need to subtract uh, these two equations. So a square, a square cancels out and we get minus 2b square, minus b square, minus b square is minus 2b square and 21 minus 29 is 8. So we can write b square as 4. So minus minus cancels, b square equals to 4 and b equals to plus minus 2. So a equals to plus minus 5 and b equals to plus minus 2. We can have four scenarios plus 5 multiplied by now we need to find out a b. So plus 5 multiplied by minus 2 plus 5 multiplied by plus 2 minus 5 multiplied by plus 2 and minus 5 multiplied by minus 2. So plus 5 into minus 2 is minus 10. This would be 10. This would be minus 10 and this would be positive 10. So the two expressions we get would be a and c. So either minus 10 or positive 10. So minus 5 into minus 2 is also positive 10. Now what is the average of x squared plus 2x minus 3 and this expression plus 3x squared minus 2x minus 3 and plus 30 minus 4x squared. So we have three terms over here. So we need to divide this by 3. So x squared plus 3x squared is 4x squared. So 4x squared minus 4x squared cancels out. 2x and this 2x cancels out and we get 30 minus 6. So minus 3 minus 3 is 6 divided by 3. So 30 minus 6 is 24. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So 
तो ऑप्शन ई इज करेक्ट Now what is the value of x square plus 12x plus 36 when x equals to 94? Now obviously we we can substitute 94 over here, but it would be quite difficult to come up with the answer. But if you look closely, a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now if you look at this expression, this is x square plus 12x plus 36. So we can write. This expression has x plus six whole raised to the power two, so this would be x square plus twelve x plus thirty six. Now, now if we substitute nine ninety four over here, so nine nine four plus six raised to the power two, this would be thousand raised to the power two. So thousand raised to the power two is one million. Option E is correct because thousand multiplied by thousand is going to give you. Three six over here and three uh, um, three zeros over here and three zeros over here. So this is one million. Now, if c square plus d square equals to four, and c minus d whole square, so c minus d whole square equals to two. Now, what is the value of c d? Now let's let's open this expression. So this would be c square minus two c d plus d square equals to two. Now minus two c d equals to two minus c square plus d square. Now we can write this. We can write this expression as c square plus d square minus two c d equals to two. Now c square plus d square is equals to this equals to four. Sorry, this equals to two. And c square plus d square equals to four. Now this expression equals to four. So minus two c d equals to two minus four. Now minus two c d equals to two minus. Now this c square plus d square equals to four. So this is uh, two minus four. So minus two c d equals to minus two. Minus minus cancels, and c d equals to one. So option A is correct. Now what is the value of 2x plus uh, 2x plus 3 into x plus 6 minus 2x minus 5 into x plus 10. Now there's a slight problem in this question. Now this expression in your solution, when they have opened this uh, these brackets, so they the correct response should have been 2x minus 5 x plus 10. So if you open this up, 2x would be multiplied by this x would be 2x square. 2x multiplied by 10 would be 10x minus 5 into x would be minus 5x and minus 5 into 10 would be minus 50. So this expression should have been 2x square plus 5x minus 50. Now they have written this expression. Now instead of 5x, they have written 15x. Anyhow, obviously this would be to make the answer incorrect. But if you were confronted, uh, if you were given this question in your exam, obviously then this expression would have been different. Now look. We know one thing that we have a negative sign over here, and obviously uh, the this the answer would be incorrect. But in your exam, how you you will be solving this kind of question, so it will be quite a difficult task to open all of these expressions. So, two x square, two x multiplied by x square is two x square, and two x multiplied by x is also two x square. And the we have a negative sign over here. It means that two x square, two x square will going to cancel out. So, option D and E cannot be the possibility. Because there is no expression for x square, so either a, b, or c. Now, it doesn't contain any x. So, what will be the number which is uh, which doesn't contain any x? So that number would be if you multiply this over here, this would be three into x would be eighteen, and over here it would be minus five into ten, it would be minus fifty. But because we have a negative sign over here, minus minus fifty will become positive fifty. So eighteen plus fifty equals to sixty-eight. But obviously, this is an incorrect uh, answer because this expression is wrong. Now, if one over a plus one over b equals to one over c, and a b equals to c, then what is the average of a plus and b? So, average of a and b looks like this. So, one over a plus one over b equals to one over c. So, we can write one over a plus one over b. If you take a b as your LCM, so. This would be b plus a equals to one over c. 
So a plus b equals to a b whole over c. Now a plus b over two. So if we divide this expression by two, we need to divide this expression by two as well. And this is your average. Now a b is what? A b equals to c. So c whole over two c c c cancels and and we get one over two. So option b is correct. Now if x square minus y square equals to twenty eight and x minus y is uh, equal to 8 what is the average of x plus y so x plus y divided by 2 so x plus y x, uh, average of x and y would be x plus y divided by 2 now x square minus y square equals to 28 so i can write this expression as x minus y into x plus y again this would be equal to 28 if i divide this expression by x minus y so I know that x minus y equals to 8. So I can write 8 over here. So this and this cancels out. So x plus y equals to 28 divided by 8. And if I divide this by 2, I need to also divide over here by 2 as well. So this expression would be 28 divided by 16. 4 4s are 4 7s are. 7 divided by 4, 4 1s are 4. This would be 3. This would be 1 3 by 4 or 1.75. So option a is correct. Which of the following is equal? So 1 over a plus a raised to power 2. Again, a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now if I and a minus b whole square equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. And if I subtract these equations, now this minus minus will become positive. So this expression would be 4ab. Now, let's suppose a equals to 1 over a and b equals to a. So, I take a as 1 over a and b as a. So, 4 into 1 over a multiplied by a, a, a cancels out and we get 4. So, option b is correct. If 1 over a plus a square equals to 100. Now, a plus b whole square again is a square plus 2 2ab two plus b square and this expression equals to 100 so a can a square can be written as now a is your 1 over a and b is a so i can write like this 1 over a square plus 2 1 over a into a plus a square equals to 100 now a and a this a cancels out so 1 over a square plus a square equals to 100 minus 2 so 2 into 1 is 2 so this expression equals to 98 so option c is correct now which quantity is greater so we know that n is less than 0 so n is a negative number so minus 2 n square so if n is a negative number if you uh, uh, if you square a negative number, you get a positive number. So no matter what happens, this expression will always be negative because we have a negative sign over here. Let's suppose it is minus 4. So minus 2, uh, minus 4 squared. So minus 4 squared is 16. So 16 into 2 is minus 32. Now this expression, so quantity A will always be negative. Now quantity B will always be a positive expression. Why? Because negative sign is being raised to power 2. So minus, minus always is a positive number. So this expression would be positive. So option B is greater than option A. Now we have an expression over here. C minus D into C plus D or C minus D equals to C minus D. Now which expression is greater? Now there's a, there's a longer way to do this question. But if I was doing this question, I would have... Uh, looked into this, uh, this these equations and we know that d is less than c so we know that d is less than c now what we're going to make these two expression equal so if d is 0 if d is 0 then this would be c multiplied by c and this will also be c multiplied by c so c squared equals to c squared if d equals to 0 and if d is not equal to 0 if d is not equal to 0 then again, it's it would be it can be any any number. For example, b is five, and uh, c is c is six, or let's suppose d is four and c is five. 
So this would be what C is five and D is four. So this would be five minus four, five plus four. This would be five minus four and five minus four. So this would be five minus four is one multiplied by nine. And this would be one multiplied by one. So this would be nine and one. So option uh, A, quantity A is greater than quantity B. But if D equals to zero, then quantity A is equal to quantity B. So we cannot tell, we cannot determine which quantity is greater and which quantity is uh, smaller. So option D is correct. Now over here again, minus X squared and Y cube. So if X is minus three, so this expression would be positive. And obviously this expression would be positive as well. So minus, we're going to make both of them, uh, the whole term negative. So because of this negative sign, quantity A is negative and A negative number is less than zero. So quantity B is greater than a negative number. So option B is correct. If you open this up, this would be R square minus S square. We know for sure. So A minus B, A plus B equals to A square minus B square. And over here, this would be RS plus R square minus SR minus S square. So RS minus R SR cancels out. So R square minus S square. So both of these terms are equal. Hence option C is correct. Quantity A and, and quantity B are equal. Question 15. So if I take five as common, so this would be X square minus four divided by X minus two. And if I take four as common, this would be X plus two. Now I can write this X minus X square minus four as X minus two into X plus two. So this can be written as five into X minus two into X plus X plus two whole divided by X minus two. So X minus two, X minus two cancels out. And we are left with five into X plus two. So now we have quantity A and quantity B. Five into X plus two and uh, four into X plus two. Now if X is equal to minus two, then this both of them would be zero. But let's suppose X is equal to one. Then this expression would be A expression would be 15 and B expression would be 12. So it can be equal a, a quantity, a quantity A can be greater than quantity B. And let's suppose if X is equal to minus three, then A expression would be minus five because minus three plus two is minus one. So minus and B quantity would be minus four. So B quantity would be greater than my uh, A quantity. So we cannot determine which quantity is greater. So option D is correct. Again, in the end, I recommend that you do a lot of practice so that you get a perfect score. Thank you very much.